Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Paris and I make videos all about candle making and the starting and managing of my small candle business, Lady Simone Candle Co. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I pack my orders. So first we're gonna start with what I use to pack my order, the tools that I use. So first things first is my Scotch packing tape dispenser. Um, I got this from Walmart actually. So I bought this whole thing. It came like as a set and then I just buy the refill uh, packing shipping tape to just refill it as I need it. Scissors, I use the Scotch uh, like gift wrapping tape or just clear tape. I got this from Walmart too. It comes actually in a set of three. So I have extras here. I have my gold Sharpie. Um, for those who don't know, my brand colors are black, gold, and white. So I use this marker to write a little thank you, thoughtful note on their packing slips. And I like to use the gold Sharpie. I also have it in bronze. So either gold or bronze, it works, but I love it. I think it just adds a nice little special touch to the orders. And then I have black uh, shipping paper. Got this off of Amazon. I'll have it linked below if you're interested. And then I have my uh, boxes. Now, these are the boxes I use for like my smaller orders. So if they order like one to two candles, or if they order just a, a candle and a, and a few wax melts, or just a couple wax melts, these are the boxes I use. These are five, um, seven by five by five. These are the Adivity shipping boxes. I found this brand on Amazon. Um, I have no complaints so far. I've shipped out maybe 30 orders since I've launched and all the customers have told me that their packages have arrived uh, in great condition. Um, very durable. I have no complaints at all. These will also be linked below. Now when I have bigger orders, I use my bigger boxes that I get for free at the post office. I use USPS um, as my carrier. I do ship priority mail or first class mail. So I use the free shipping medium flat rate shipping boxes um, from USPS. So these are like for my bigger orders, anything that are like three candles and up. <laughs> so whether they order three candles and one wax melt or five candles, I've had several orders um, since launching that had some people ordered my entire collection, which is six fragrances. So they had six candles and they all um, fit perfectly and comfortably in these medium flat rate boxes. So I have a whole box behind me. Of course, my bubble wrap. And then this bag right here is full of packing peanuts. Anytime I get an order from Candle Science or any other candle supplier, I save the packing peanuts. I also save the little cardboard, um, um, I don't know what these are, but they're just like cardboard slices, I guess. And these come in when Candle Science delivers the jar, my jars. So I save these two because if I have like several candles that I'm shipping in the big flat rate boxes, sometimes I slip these um, in between just to kind of help with the it from not moving so much and then I think that's all that I actually used to ship and then um, the little nice um, extra treats that they get inside their order everybody gets a sample so these are my samples so anytime they order a scent that um, order scents and I look and see what I'm packing I try to give them a sample of a scent they did that they did not order so they come in these I'm actually transitioning out of this packaging for my samples and moving into these cute little black pillow boxes aren't they so cute I found these on Amazon too 
And so just like the little round sticker on this, it's gonna go right here. And this can fit probably up to four little wax melts, but each person gets two. So I thought this would be perfect. The reason why I'm transitioning out of this packaging is because I don't know if you all can see it, but it kind of, you know, wax melts are kind of, um, almost have like a greasy feel to them. And so when I'm putting them in this plastic packaging, sometimes it just kind of smears and I just don't like the way it looks from a presentation standpoint. So I thought these would be a nice cover up to that problem. And I just thought they're super cute and they're black and they go with my, they go with my theme. So I thought they were cute. So I'm actually transitioning out of these. I still have a full box of these. So I'm just going through these and then once I'm done, I'll transition to those. So they get a sample. And then also, each candle is named after an empowering word that helped me get through my postpartum anxiety. If you did not know, um, after I had my son, I was suffering from postpartum anxiety. I actually have a video here on my channel called How Candles um, Helped Me Through um, My Mental Struggles. And um, so each candle, each fragrance is named after an empowering word to encourage and inspire somebody to um, let them know that they can get through whatever they're getting through because I got through what I'm getting through and I just truly believe anything, you can get through it with prayer, with support, and I know a lot of people don't have that. So I just wanted my line to uh, inspire and empower and touch somebody. So um, for example, one of my candles is entitled Beautiful. This is actually one of the orders. So each candle gets whatever name that they got in their order, candle name. Then it comes with a little call to action card. And so it just has an empowering message on each of them. And it has my favorite quote at the bottom. Stay encouraged, committed to loving you, and be free in your authenticity. Something I tell myself every day. So everything, every order comes with whatever card to coincide with their candle. And it also comes in these little velvet, black velvet bags. Perfect for <clears throat> jewelry, perfect for travel. I mean, anybody can use these. So I thought these would be a special touch. Amazon, these will be linked below. And then of course, my business card. So um, I pack these right inside here and I put it in there. So those are the little treats that they get inside. And then <clears throat> lastly, of course I put their packing slip in there. I check mark in my little gold marker to ensure I have everything packed. And then lastly they get, these are already pre-cut. They actually, I bought some black card stock at Walmart, just a pack in like the crafts and arts aisle. And then I just cut them down to fit the size of my boxes. So they'll, they'll sit nicely on top. And I put a little thank you for my, thank you for your business sticker right in the center. I place that right on top and then I take up the box. And so that way when they open their box, the first thing they see is this little piece the next thing they see is their packing slip. They open it, of course, just like any other person, they're gonna look at their slip or packing slip or order, make sure everything is there. They get to see my little note and the gold pen, and then they see their treats and their order. So basically, I just want my, I wanted my customers to have an experience, and believe it or not, I actually got a lot of feedback. A lot of the customers actually started getting their orders um, last week and this past week and I would get emails and text messages um, that uh, Sorry, that was my <laughs> that was my phone alarm um, They once they got their packages. Oh my gosh, it was such an experience opening your box I felt like I was literally opening up your story and if you haven't had a chance to check out my story again you can check out that video it's right here on YouTube on my channel and you can head over to my website and check it out as well you can read all about how I got through my postpartum anxiety what you can do for it if you're someone that suffered from it there's um, ways 
to get through it, I promise you. And um, so you can read all about that. And so they get a little experience. So that is how, that is kind of the high level overview of what I use to pack my orders. And now we're gonna actually get into how I actually pack them step by step. So I have my laptop here, which has all of my uh, orders that need to be fulfilled. So I'm just gonna, I try to pick two, I picked up two variety that can kind of um, so I actually have this order that she ordered two, two beautiful candles. Boop, boop, boop. So we're going to literally start from the beginning. So what I'm going to do first, what I like to do first is I pull up the order on my laptop and, um, I go ahead and like I said, I, I store all of my candles downstairs nice cool dark space let them cure and everything and so when it's time to fulfill orders what I do is I take two of these boxes I got two boxes here that I saved just from random shipping supplies and um, I go downstairs and I take my laptop and I try to fit I try to get like maybe five to six orders depending on how many I have I put them in these boxes and I separate them in groups and then I bring them upstairs all of my shipping stuff is up here and I'm in my loft, so it's just a nice little area for me to ship. My printer is right behind here where I'm filming, and I have my labels and everything as well. So everything is up here, so I just rather ship up here. I put on some music. Sometimes my little sister comes over and help me, and I just get it done. So what I like to do is, since I know she just ordered two candles, they will fit great just in this seven by five by five box. So we're gonna start with taping up the bottom. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Got my tape. And y'all, I struggle. My husband had to help me understand how to use this daggone thing. It's so, it, it's, bomb is so com is so helpful and convenient especially you know when you have a lot of orders to ship but it was hard to use at first and that's only because I didn't know what I was doing so it's not the dispenser's fault it's Paris's fault so I go ahead and I and I'll show you all in a minute what I'm doing down here so I'm just cutting a piece of tape, sticking it right here. So I pretty much just taped up the bottom. Nice and secure, ready to go. So next step is I take some packing peanuts. And I put them right at the bottom, just enough to coat the bottom. Just like that, that's all you need. And then I set this aside, this is ready. I want to focus on wrapping up my candles y'all when I first started my business I'm not gonna lie when I shipped off my first few orders I was nervous because now kudos to all of our postal workers they work very hard and very much around the clock but I get nervous because you know as we do with some of our jobs sometimes you just get just kind of just you know you got that just you toss and stuff and I just get really nervous I don't want nobody to get a broken candle and so I hope this is not extreme but this is how I do mine so I take my black shipping paper I eyeball it I cut off I've been doing this for about 30 plus orders now so I kind of just eyeball it and actually I do normally have these pre-cut um, but I don't have any more pre-cut right now so I'm just eyeballing it for the sake of the video and it's just a nice little probably 11 by 8 kind of like the size of like a regular printer printing sheet of paper take my candle and what I'm doing is I am wrapping it up corner to corner like this so my candle is right here, right in the center where I'm holding it. And I put a piece of tape right here. Piece of tape. 
so there you go and the candle is right in the center what I want to do is I'm going to fold up the ends almost like you're wrapping a gift and take the ends and I'll show you in a sec what that looks like and so it just looks like this I don't beat myself up on trying to be super, super neat. The goal is, I just wanted to get there safe. This is shipping paper. So my presentation and the experience my customers will get is in the overall order itself. I just wanted to get there safe. This is very good, thick shipping paper. I literally have no complaints. Um, and like I said, I wanted my whole order to have a theme. So it came in black. I snatched it up to try it. I just ordered one roll and it's actually lasts pretty good. This has last through, excuse me, through about 30 plus orders. And um, mind you, I'm wrapping each candle individually when I'm doing this and it's still here. So this has lasted me quite a while. Um, yeah, so after I do that, I take my bubble wrap and also guys, I got four, four of these. Look how big this is. This is huge. I think it's like, I would have to separate it, but this is the separation. This is how long they are. And I ordered four from Amazon and I think I paid like 16 or $17. I'll, I'll have everything linked below, but look how much I got. This is three that's left. This is the one I'm still using. Like, I try to shop around for supplies and try to be as cost effective as I can because starting a business is already expensive on top of having to buy shipping supplies. So I try to be as cost effective as I can when shopping around for other materials. Now, for the bubble wrap, I wrap the exact same way that I did with the shipping paper. Again, guys, the goal is for it to get to the customer safely. I promise you, at least from what I've learned from all the feedback, they're happy that it arrived. So, yes, I am. I try to be as neat as possible <clears throat> when I'm doing this, but I'm also, my the end goal is for it to get there. That's the end goal. So what I do is I wrap it up the exact same way I did and it looks just like this. So it has the black shipping paper and it has the bubble wrap and then of course the packing peanuts and it's going to get there safe. And I'll show you, I'm actually shake it for you to hear that it's not even moving. Now I'm going to do her second candle the same way. So, got her two candles ready to go. So now I grab my box. You remember it's already packed up. We got the packing peanuts at the bottom. Just a nice little layer because these are in bubble wrap too. I place these at the bottom. Just like that. And I still have plenty of space. So she ordered two beautiful candles, which is my sea salt and orchid. So I'm just gonna pick anything in here that's not sea salt and orchid. So I'll give her my Woman of Principle, which is my lush linen scent from Candle Science. I'll give her this sample. And since she ordered two beautiful candles, I'm just gonna give her the one beautiful CTA card. And my business card. Got these from Vistaprint. 
And then what I do is I just stick it very neatly in the pouch. And even the men, like I've had a couple, I think I've had two male customers and even the men has told me that these little velvet pouches were perfect for like their jewelry. Like if they're traveling and they're a male that loves to wear like their, you know, you know what's in fashion, like those bead bracelets and all those other stuff and their rings and things like that. This is actually very helpful. Like people can reuse these. So I thought this was a special touch. So I just kind of stick it in there kind of with the beautiful wording kind of sticking out with my card, kind of just kind of out like that. And then I stick it right there. And then at this point, I put a top layer of packing peanuts on top. And then what, so it looks like this at this point. So what goes <clears throat> next is their packing slip, which I don't have any printer ink. I ran out of ink, y'all, on Friday. I was so upset. So I'm actually going to get some today. Today is Sunday. So the next step, what I would do is print out her packing slip. <laughs> And on there, I usually just write with my gold or bronze Sharpie, got these from Walmart. And I normally just say, thank you so much for your purchase. I truly appreciate the support with a little heart. And then I sign it with my signature, fold it, stick it on top of here. And then, so the packing, the packing slip goes on top of the packing peanuts. And then I take my little thank you for your business sticker. And then I put it right at the center of the black <coughs> cardstock paper and then I put that right on top and so that would be how they open their gift and then I close it up which I'm not really going to because I still got to put her back and flip on here and then you hear that like it's not moving so it's perfect and then I just pack up the top and then I print out the shipping label and then <clears throat> I do not have the label printer yet <sighs> I want one so bad but that's well, I'm not gonna get that right now so right now I just use my printer paper and then I cut out the shipping label and I put the shipping label right on top and if they did first class um, or priority mail the shipping label will have either first class or priority mail right at the top of the shipping label and so when I take it to drop it off at the post office or if I do um, a postal curbside pickup um, when our mail runs they'll know that this this is priority mail or first class mail which means they get it between one and three business days yeah so that is how I pack my orders for candles and I do the exact same thing with my wax melts my next order is actually someone who ordered two woman of principle wax melts um, and I do the exact same thing um, except for I do not wrap these individually <clears throat> I wrap depending on how many they order um, two to three at a time so if they order one obviously I just wrap the one but if they order two or even let's say they order th six of these I can wrap three at a time and the shipping paper just like I did the candle I wrap it up from corner to corner tape it like I'm wrapping up a Christmas gift put bubble wrap over it and I do the exact same process um, from start to finish exactly what you just saw me do in um, the previous clips and I just do the same thing with my wax melts <clears throat> and yeah that is how I pack my orders from start to finish those are all the supplies that I use a lot of my tape like my tape just FYI my tape my scissors um, and my sharpies are all from Walmart and uh, I, everything else is pretty much from Amazon my packing peanuts are just literally saved from all of my supply orders they're just and I just put them in a big garbage bag and leave it up here um, my call to action cards and business cards are from Vistaprint um, and literally everything else that I mentioned in this video are from Amazon now my labels I order my labels from 
um, online labels.com. And so um, my jar labels and my wax melt labels and my packaging labels, these little circles right here, and my sample labels, the circle ones. I just bought the blank, these blank labels right here, minus the wording. These were blank a minute ago. And what I do is my save designs on onlinelabels.com. What you do is you order all the blank labels that you need. So behind you is my printer and my stack of labels in their categories. And I just go into my account and then if I need some more, I just print out a sheet and put my blank labels in, um, label side down in the printer, and then it prints out. So I don't have to wait for labels to get shipped to me unless I run out of blank labels, which they come, I mean, you can get like 1500, I think for like 1650 or something like that, 1950. And so I'm not running out anytime soon. <laughs> I'm not, I just started, so. <laughs> I'm not running through labels like that right now. So it's actually very great that I don't have to worry about that as well. So that is how I pack my orders. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments or any ideas on what you would like me to film, just let me know and leave them in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, see you guys. Bye.